welcome back friends now i shall insert new products into this through this vendor dashboard so it is insert new product so i shall i can insert physical product a variable product but i shall insert only these two i shall not insert this digital product because physical and digital digital are same but there is a difference in variable product so first i shall i think uh, ins, uh, insert the physical product so i have chosen this physical product now i shall assign it the product title <coughs> it is the simple product mean physical product i have copied it is title and paste it here it is the so choose the select a manufacturer and product category and the category and now i shall give the product seo description now i copy it and paste it here here i shall give the product url seo url in this way you will also give so i copy it and paste it here product tabs support so a description will be given here this one and i paste it here i shall not give the product features and product sounds and videos so i choose a file i shall only choose one file because the remaining two product page image 2 and image 3 are optional if you want to select you can select otherwise there is no need so i give the product keywords t-shirt copy and same is the product label t-shirt is the physical product therefore i shall assign it is weight 1.2 kg and its price 90 dollar there is no need to give the sale price but you can give this is product inventory stock management this new section has been made in this updates so stock status in stock out of stock are on back order so i shall choose the in stock and enable stock management at product level so i shall click over yes at this stage default is no but if i click over yes so you will see the here the stock quantity will be shown enable stock management of product at product level stock quantity here i shall write that how many products are in the stock five products are in the stock allow back orders back orders mean that you want to inform the customer that this these products are in stock or not so do not allow so i shall remain in do not allow it will be do not allow allow and notify customer but i have kept it do not allow because i have given that it this is in the stock so i click over insert product and this one product has been inserted successfully now you can see that this product is in pending position it is in pending in stock 5 mean 5 products are in the stock 90 dollar price so now i shall insert the variable products the second one and i shall copy it is title this is the variable products details so i copy it is title and i paste it here select it here i pro variable products and i copy this seo description for this variable products paste it here product url copy this one paste it here i shall give the product description small description paste it here and manufacturer category and category first one the product category second was the product cat, cat only category and i have chosen one file but you can give the other two files other two images also product keywords t-shirt <coughs> label is same t-shirt <coughs> now variable product option now you can see that this variable product options are showing because i have chosen the product kind is variable product first is product attributes 
these are the product attributes. This is a name. Here you will write the name, like color, size, or anything, processor, keyword. Second one is a values. Values are the attributes. So I would like to show you these names and these attributes. I go to shop page, I click over this Mac Pro. So these are the name, like this processor, memory, storage, this name whatever the name you will given here and these are the values which are inside these input fields like these one these are all the values which will be written inside the values here so these are the name so it is the t-shirt therefore i shall you will see i show you that this product is the t-shirt therefore i will uh, write here the size and color two names will be given to here this is the size first one and these are the size small medium large extra large second extra large 3x large then 4x large so you will also give the size values uh, in the same way the straight line you must put this straight line which is right above the enter in on your keyword is the exc exclamation sign you will press the shift and you will enter this these straight lines keep in mind you must put write these straight lines in next to every size like small straight line medium straight line large and now i shall click over insert product attributes so you will see that first attribute has been inserted now i shall assign another name which is the color and here I shall give the different color like black, blue, maroon, chocolate, red, and etc. etc. Orange. So this is the second color. Names also have been added. So you can edit this size and color through this edit button. You can change like I have removed one and I click edit. So it has been edited. You can edit this color also in the same way I have removed the orange and say edit it and you can also delete anyone but I shall not delete it just I am showing you that here you can add more name and more add values also and you can delete them also if you don't like them. Now second category second one is the product variations here you will give the variations default from value but what variation will be shown as a default on your so you can add new variation one by one and you can also add 50 variations at the same time like this one i have added just one by one by one step by step two variation and i can delete them also i have deleted them now i will show you that you can add plenty of create new variations from all attributes this is a second option and I click over go and you can read this text that you can add 50 variations possible of variation attributes maximum 50 per run so now uh, when I click ok 50 different variations according to attributes will be added now you will see that according to all different sizes these variations have been added small medium large and every according to every size whatever size have been given there but i shall remove them you can also remove them in bulk quantity delete all variations and click go and all these variations will be removed or deleted so now i shall add them one by one to clear everything so now click go one first i select the small and i assign it a color black now i click over this down arrow and here you can assign a new image to this small size and black color t-shirt but just to save time i shall not assign an image but you can assign which image will be shown here separately this image will be separate and that image will be shown separate which will be only assigned to this small size and black color so select a product type it is obviously a physical product because it is a t-shirt not the digital product product price you can assign a separate price because these are the variable products 60 dollar product weight 1 kg and stock quantity you will also give it a separate stock quantity 5 when 5 products are in stock 
now I shall add one more click over go so this is the first one which is empty and this one is the second one which have been added I close it and now I shall assign it the second color which is the medium first was small so it is color is uh, size is medium and color blue I assign it a separate price which is 70 first I gave the 80 now product weight 1 kg and quantity I assign it the separate quantity 3 product sign quantity and I click over go now I select the large third one it is color is maroon click over here and assign it a separate price 80 first was 60 price then 70 and this third one is 80 so I product weight 1 kg stock quantity just one one product is in the stock and I shall click over it now this is the default and you can choose also a default one click over it save product variations now I shall select this medium will be the default which will be shown on the browser first view so I have closed them now I go to product attributes and you will see these uh, sizes are showing and these product variations actually I did not save therefore this default medium size and color didn't is not showing so I select again medium size medium and color blue so now I click over save product variations Now I click over insert product and your product has been inserted successfully. I would like to show you this is the variable product and first one is a physical product. These two products have been added. So first I will show you the physical product. I shall open it in new tab and this physical product is showing in this way. Because it is a physical product, it is not a variable product. So no variations are showing here, just product quantity and six items in stock and product price is showing but when I shall show you the variable product it will be showing in a different way so now I show you the variable product open it in new tab and you will see that this is a variable product name and it is size is showing the default is showing medium color blue and product price is 70 and three items in the stock but when I change it is color like small size I change its color black now you will see it is price is 60 and 5 items in the stock and if I change uh, it is size to large one maroon and now 80 and just only one item in the stock so in this way you can add the variable products in this theme now because according to this these new updates so now I close this I think you will have understood very well Uh, this uh, vendor dashboard is opening all these products are showing if I click over active then only active products are showing if I click over past then no product is passed otherwise it was to show here if I click over pending so these two products are pending for the admin approval when admin appro will approve them they will begin to show because these two products have newly inserted here so I come back to oh you can edit them by clicking over edit and you can if I click over edit so this is the edit pro product so you can edit this product as a vendor and you will click over update product and it will be edited and you can also delete them so this is the variable product if I click over edit here view edit like if I click over edit so you can also edit this variable pro pro product you can edit it is size you can edit it is color through size here you can edit it is color and you can edit it is the variations you can change the default setting like uh, this one and you will click over update product and this product will be edited 
I have already explained you all this procedure. Therefore, I shall not repeat it. So I come back to products dashboard and you can also delete any product, but I shall not delete it. And you can pause any product too by clicking over this pause and delete it. You can delete too. Now I click over bundles in the same way you can insert the new bundle. This is the vendor dashboard which is showing the bundle. All bundles, all, all is default, two active and one passed and this one bundle is passed and there is no bundle in pending. So I come back to all and you can insert new bundle here. If I click over insert new bundle, same like before you will assign here the title and you will assign the description URL and everything. First you will give the title and this one field is new one, which is a bundle products. Here you will click over it and you will select the bundle products. All these products you can select one by one, which will be included in the bundle. So only this new input field is new in this. Otherwise the same like insert product, this form is same like before. Therefore, there is no need to insert any bundle. You will select the variable product and these are the variable variation bundle options are showing. You will select here bundle attributes, bundle variations. The same procedure will be repeated. As I said, only this one field bundle products is new through which you will select the products of bundles. So I come back to bundles. You can view the bundle, you can pass bundle, you can edit and you can delete any bundle the same process I am showing you so this is one the pause you can activate it if I click over it so this one bundle has been activated I click OK now all the bundles are active now I As I said to you, you can edit these bundles in the same way. If like this one, I click over edit. So I show you that only this field is new. So you can remove any bundle product from this field and you can add any new product from here too. The remaining everything is same like a inserting product form. So you will easily understand it. So I come back to bundle and now I click over downloads. These are the download table view, but I shall come back in next video to explain you about it. That how can you insert